Today we're working on a leaky bathtub faucet. It's leaking because either the washer or the seat or both are worn out on this stem. So even though everything's closed up, there's water coming out. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the main water to the house so that we can take this part out and get a better look at it. Right, so we pulled the stem out. That's what the washer looks like. And we could just replace that. But the problem is, if we can look in here, it's kind of tough to see, but you can see that seat in there has a chip in it. And it takes a special tool to remove it. And that's this. You slide it in there. It would help if you put the square end in. When you pull it out, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the seat that sits in there. You can see that chip in it. That's what's causing the leak. So you need to go buy one of those. I always like to buy a new stem. It's a little worse for wear, so you can always just buy a new seat and a new washer, too. Got it all reassembled. Put a new screw on there. Keep the handle on, but it's fine now. You don't have to really push it super tight and it will continue to stop dripping and the water is completely cut off. There's quick draining now so you can see that it's completely functional and it'll work. I'll do a short video after this to show what the gap looks like in the seat. Alright, I just wanted to finish this video and show you why this had a leak you can see the washer in here has a pretty deep groove in it and when you buy these things brand new the washer actually looks like this it's very flat so that the seat can sit up right against that and stop the flow of water so and i've already showed you this this is the seat that i pulled out and as you can see there's a big notch and uh, <clears throat> the person that was living in this house was using a pair of, rent, uh, pair of pliers to shut this. So they actually stripped the whole thing and that's why I bought a new one. But when you look at this notch and you set it inside the washer, if you look closely, you can see all around there's a good tight fit. But right there in the middle is that gap no matter how hard you cinch that down and that's what happens is when a little notch appears it carves right into that washer and creates that groove <clears throat> so sometimes when you open this up if there's if the seat looks good and maybe there's a crack in your washer you can just replace this part very inexpensive just a word on seats, I have actually replaced this particular valve seat two other times in the last few years. And so when I went to Home Depot, this is normally what I've used is a brass seat. And uh, Home Depot actually had these seats, which they are brass as well, but they're nickel plated, making them a little bit harder. And so I'm not sure why this one keeps going out so much, but I figured I'd try this nickel plated one and hopefully that'll not have any problems in the future. Hope you liked the video. It was helpful to you. Uh, subscribe and like the video and share a comment if you have any feedback. Thanks.